Welcome to the systems tutorial for the A10 Thunderbolt for MSFS 2024. Because this isn't a civilian airplane, I'm not going to do my usual A to B flight tutorial. Instead, I'll explain and demonstrate some important aircraft systems, which I hope you find useful for your flights in this airplane. So, as always, we'll start with the FMC. The A10 does have an FMC, and if you've planned a flight in the world map, that will have been automatically pulled through to the airplane and it's also displayed on the navigation MFD on the right hand side. As for ILS frequencies, those can be tuned in the FMC on the nav page. You just enter your desired frequency on the number pad and then click the left soft key next to nav1 to tune that and that change is also reflected on the ILS panel here. It's the same with squawk codes on the nav page, you'll just enter your desired squawk code and hit the soft key next to transponder and again that change is also reflected on the physical panel on the left and you can also change the squawk code on the panel itself. The A10 doesn't have an autopilot nav mode, instead your desired course to your next waypoint is displayed on the HSI and you have to manually adjust the heading bug to match that. Therefore you probably want to keep your waypoints as few and far between and simple as possible. You can use the Direct 2 mode in the FMC to achieve this, so if we click through to the Direct 2 page, pick a waypoint we want to go direct to, hit temporary direct, and your desired waypoint will change to the waypoint you've selected on the FMC flight plan, on the navigation MFD, and also on the HSI. It will update your desired course to that waypoint, and you'll just adjust your heading bug to match the new desired course. While you're in flight, your next waypoint will be displayed as a square on your HUD, and also pay attention during flight to your velocity vector, which shows your current trajectory. Essentially, that circle says you're going here. As for autopilot, the A10 has a lateral and vertical autopilot with altitude slash heading and altitude hold modes. The button I'm currently highlighting switches between barrow and radio altimeter. For most of the flight, you want to leave it in barrow. The second switch enables electronic flight control, so we'll switch that on and also engage the autopilot master. The airplane will now turn to follow the heading you've selected on the HSI. Remember, if you're flying a flight plan, you want the selected heading to match the course shown. Currently, the altitude hold appears to be bugged. Despite the autopilot altitude being set and altitude hold enunciator displayed, as soon as you release the flight stick, the airplane will enter a nosedive. But hopefully that'll be fixed soon. As for ILS approaches, you just change the nav source below the HSI to ILS. And if you have an ILS tuned and you're within range, the course will update to the ILS course. Glide slope and localizer deviation are displayed on the HUD during approach. And the easiest way to land is just keep that velocity vector pointed at where you want to go. Then when you get close to touchdown, just idle the throttle, flare the nose a bit. Bear in mind the A10 is pretty floaty. And that concludes this basic systems tutorial for the A10. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please drop a like. Feel free to subscribe for regular sim content. Take care, and I'll see you next time.